right, guys, big KC game coming up. Optics are huge. I don't really subscribe to the optics. Me personally, I think if we win, huge upside for the Dolphins. If we lose, not as, as big a uh, downside as they would say. Uh, you know, the whole oh, Dolphins haven't beat anybody in tour. It's like, it's kind of tiring. Uh, clearly, though, we win. It's going to be magnificent. Seven and two, by week. Uh, and all the free agents called the injured returning to the Dolphins. Um, but I want to get into today uh, two things very quickly. One, super quickly, the free agency. I talked to, you know, I heard one thing. Uh, uh, Dolphins stand pat Why are their, their opponents get better or something like that. I'm going to do that real quick. But then I want to do something else. I'm hearing a lot of talk uh, um, about the offense. And a lot of it is, well, you know, we don't really, the protection is so good. Austin Jackson might be Pro Bowl. Um, and it's the protection, you could put anybody there and we would be okay. And I think that's wrong. And it's not to knock the protection. It's to say you're dismissing what Tua, Hill, Waddle, and Nick Daniel are doing. It's almost unprecedented. So I'm going to do a bit, I'm going to do the free agency quick, then a basket of analytics to show you how Tua is not getting the credit he deserves when you overemphasize this protection because really McDaniel, Hill, Waddle, and Tua, they are driving this offense and its protection. And I don't know if I've ever seen anything like it before in NFL history. The offensive line, you go to the greatest show on tur uh, turf, they had an unbelievable offensive line. They had Orlando Paces in the Hall of Fame. We're doing without it. Now, you got to go through the whole season and, and, and break it down. But even against these other teams, you're seeing 70 to 20, uh, you know, 30 points a game. You can't dismiss that. Uh, again, we got to see what happens through the different circumstances. But Tua was said not to have an elite trait, except here. I think I was one of the first anywhere, not anywhere, but pretty much on YouTube or any of these other things. In 2021, in the summer, I first started doing this gig. Uh, I had said, uh, you know, I hear two doesn't have any elite traits. The release it is elite. And if it's accentuated, this guy could do a lot. And we found out through like this testing thing that he's a hair quicker in his release than Dan Marino. And it's a big deal. I mean, it's not to say he's a better quarterback than Dan. But we all know Dan had a huge element uh, advantage with that release. He would get the ball out quick and he would miss, uh, he would avoid sacks, get it into tight windows. And Tua has that. And now with Hill, Waddle, and McDaniel, they're able to get this ball out so quick, but not just quick, short, quick with depth. And that, as I'd said uh, two years ago, when McDaniel first got here and he got Hill. Hill and Waddle are going to create game-changing leverage. That game-changing leverage, along with Tua's elite release and McDaniel's style, is doing something spectacular. And if you, if you kind of overemphasize the protection, then you're underemphasizing what these guys are doing to help the protection out. And I'm going to do a whole host of analytics to show you very clearly. Now, uh, before I get into that, I'm going to do the free agency. Ace Per Head's betting software is the premier white label platform for bookies to manage their players and grow their sportsbook operation. Click the link in the description below to get set up in minutes. Ask for the Curtis promo and get a special introductory discount. That's kind of boring to me. I, I said we weren't going to get anybody. I didn't think we would. Uh, and the whole talk, we could have got, there's guys we could have got. It would have been great. Uh, Ezra Cleveland, some people don't like him. I think he would have been great over here. I, the protection over there is uh, time to throw is 269. Here it's 236. And he's doing good over there. Could you imagine over here what he would do? But he's a free agent. He'd have to come in, learn the system, and you'd have to get rid of a guy. We've got enough. The addition of Claypool, his blocking, his size, it adds a different element to this receiving group that's driving this whole team. Driving the whole team, guys. So we aren't losers. We've got, like I said, we got a whole host of free agents. One's called Theron. You saw Ramsey, the free agent, coming in. We got Needham. Uh, 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 um, Connor's coming back. You know, we got guys that are free agents that are going to be added to the talent pool of this team. We got, we got. Next year, it's going to be so hard to sign guys. Wilkins is going to be major expensive. 
Connor Hunt. There is a future. If you don't somehow win a Super Bowl, you get to the Super Bowl and you lose it, you're sure is not going to be happy next year if all of a sudden you got to let all these guys go. Greer's got to ma- maintain his roster, not just for this year. It'd be great if you win a Super Bowl, but guys, the chances of us winning the Super Bowl is very, very, I wouldn't say low. It's much higher than it's ever been, but it's not easy. You never know. A ref, look at the Saints. So we've got to go all in for this season, but also leave a little bit of meat on the table for next year. So we weren't losers at all. Now, let me get into this. Tua deserves credit. McDaniel deserves credit to see his talent to accentuate it. And Hill is a game-changing receiver, very rarely seen. And he puckers the keisters of the defense. And then it gets double puckered when you add in Waddle. Barrios chosen, Claypool, and Wilson. I forgot the most. Wilson. So, so that pushes guys off. And it allows us to get the ball out quick. Last year... We had, I made my own stat, blockers per pass, how many guys we keep in the block. It was almost seven. This year, we've had a couple of games of high, but for the most part, it's been extraordinarily low, like the rest of the quarterbacks have enjoyed. And we get the ball out super fast. We protect Tua, and these guys are able to make plays. And they're able to make plays at depth at high speed. And all this is helping the protection. The protection's doing what it needs to do, but it's playing on like, you know, if you ever played Madden pro level, it's not on all Madden like it was a couple of years ago. When you got to protect for 2.6, 2.7, it's impossible if you're not very, very talented or you have a crazy scrambling quarterback. So let's take a look at this little analytics here. You can see Tua... Burrow and Lawrence are top three, tied for quickest pressures at 1.8 seconds. They tally up all the pressures, and when the pressure gets there, how quick. We are the fastest. That's not a good sign that you got great protection. You look at the best offensive lines, you won't see that kind of quick protection rate. As an example, you can look down the line, you see uh, uh, it's a good offensive line. You can see Lamar Jackson, 2.1. Now, some of the... It's not exact science because some of these guys are mobile, but you see Patrick Holmes, Jalen Hurts, 2.2, Carr, Carr's not mobile, 2.2. So the better lines don't let the pressure in as quick. We are getting getting our pressure a very, very fast rate, and that says the protection is in superstar status. But if you actually look at other stats, it's going to start raising McDaniel, Hill, Tua, and Waddle very, very clearly to a special level, guys. Very, very special. So if you take a look at the actual pressures, two is 31st with 13.1% pressure rate. Okay? Now, if you look at uh, Joe Burrow, he he's 27th, not bad, 17.2. And then you look at Lawrence, he's got a little bit higher, 19th. 20.7. But two is sitting at the bottom. All three of these guys are getting quick pressure. And if you look at the time to throw, you'll see, hold on a second. Let me get the number up. Time to throw, two, uh, two, three, six, number one. Trevor Lawrence, second, 241, and Burrow, 249. Okay? So these three guys are getting the ball out fast. Two are ultra fast. I mean, 1.3 second difference between Burrow and Tua is, it's actually a big deal. So all three of these guys are getting pressure quick. All three of these guys are getting the ball out quick. And two has got the least. Burrow's not too bad. And... Lawrence is still manageable, but it's substantially different. But here's where you start understanding the difference. Intended air yards, or actually completed air yards. Two is number six at 6.5. Burrow is 31st at 3.9. And Trevor Lawrence is 18th at 5.6. So these guys are all getting their pressure quick. Two has got the least amount of pressure. Two is getting it out the quickest. All three are getting out quick. But the depth, he's all, 
Two is almost getting double the depth of Burrow. And uh, for Wilson, uh, for Lawrence, it's almost a yard more. And then two has got the least amount of pressure. And so this is screaming. These guys are operating so fast to kind of alleviate this pressure uh, situation, but they're actually making big plays out of it. And that's how two is using his release, waiting to the last second for the speed receivers to get into gaps, for him to throw it, and then for McDaniel to orchestrate all this stuff. But let's take a look at this stat now to show how there's a really small margin for error. Now, you can see week four, week seven, and week eight, okay? Now, week four against the Bills, see BPP. We kept 5.3 blockers in, but we had 29% pressure rate, but the time to throw is 2.59. So that was uh, 0.2 seconds more than usual, and we had a 29% pressure rate. You look at versus the Eagles, we had to keep 6.8 guys in to block, but we got the ball out 2.24 seconds to mitigate that, which is quicker than our usual, and we had a 14% pressure rate. But then we played the Pats, we kept 5.5 in, got it at 2.16 out, and had a 14% pressure rate. So these balls were coming out extraordinarily fast, Eagles were extraordinarily tough. Uh, Patriots aren't. Patriots and Eagles have a terrible secondary. Uh, Patriots can't really, they blitz all the time. 41% they blitzed us, but they still can't get to the quarterback. They're bot one middle of the league, even though they're blitzing the top, their, their blitz efficiency is terrible. But the Eagles don't have a secondary, but they had that talent. And that's why we had to keep the guys in there. But we got the ball out so quick, but still got a 14% pressure rate. So there is a small, but it doubled at 0.2 seconds more against the Bills, who have a better secondary, I think it's about 13th in the league, and they still can get after the quarterback with a good pressure uh, front. And so when Tua and this offense can't get that ball out, and when they don't have balance, we had balance against the Patriots, we tried to run but weren't effective Against the Bills, you can aid the 70-yard run at the end uh, for A-Chain. That doesn't, I don't think that counts because they had their secondary guys in it. But against the Eagles, we couldn't run that football, and they were able to set the tone for the downs. And we had our pressures, three sacks and 11 pressures. But you can see right here, 2.16 to 2.24, week eight and week seven, the pressures almost doubled. And that says Tua, Hill, Waddle, and McDaniel. Their speed, their ability to get the football out, and for us to kind of run the football is offsetting a troubled protection. And in most cases, if you were missing, you know, Tehran and Connor and Hunt, you would be just decimated. But two is ability to throw that football, the anticipation, to get it out. And McDaniel's understanding and Hill and Waddle, it is doing something almost unique. But you could see in the Bills game, at certain points, that protection's going to have to stand up. Now, we didn't have Connor that game. Tehran went out. And this is the good news. When Tehran comes in and Connor is in, you're not going to need these ultra-efficient passing stats, uh, and you're going to still be able to tread water against the better teams. But if you could still get this kind of uh, uh, blockers per pass in the low fives, and you can get the ball out in the 2.4, 2.3 range, with Connor and Tehran, you're going to be able to victimize even the best teams. At least it's trending this way. So... I got a lot of stats on KC. I'm going to compare them to New England, uh, to the Patriots, uh, to the Patriots, to uh, the Philly, and to the Bills to kind of see what's the defense that's giving us problems. 
what what is it going to look like when we uh, uh, go against this KC defense and other defenses? Because once you understand what you can do, I mean, really, when you're seeing it laid out, then you can kind of project. You never can, can you know, figure out if there's going to be injuries or what the weather's going to be like. But I really like this offense. I think Tua is special. That release, his ability to throw with anticipation, and now I wanted to do some film, but I'm not showing the chance. His mobility, his ability to throw on the move and to move. Not, he doesn't have to be Mahomes, but that short little that short little rollout that he's been doing. If you notice, has been getting better and better and better, and that's going to hinder this pressure rate, and it's going to uplift further this offensive line. Uh, and maybe it's not going to need so much uplifting, uplifting when Connor and Tehran get there. But Tua Hill, especially, and Waddle, and McDaniel are doing some amazing stuff, guys. And if you don't wrap your head around uh, the amount of blockers we're keeping in, the time to throw, the depth in that time, and our ability to consistently run the football, even if it's not effective. We don't have to be effective in a run game. We just got to keep running it. And when you add in HN and Mostert to make those big pop runs, I think this team has all it needs to go where it needs to go. But we'll see as they play these better defenses and defenses with offenses. Anyway, I hope you understand. hope it makes sense. I hope you enjoyed. Curtis and catch you next time. Be well. Go Fins. Start building your own online sports book today by getting signed up with acebred.com service that allow you to book action on sports from all around the world.